uh, see what I'm discussing here now is uh, some of the important uh, MCQs yes uh, of quadratic equation not only sorry MCQs one more questions two more questions uh, exercise wise first 10.1 if it is 10.1 uh, it is of course quadratic equation it is of Karnataka state board exercise chapter 10 and if you go to NCRT it is fourth chapter yes 4.1 you can refer uh, yes here I have selected uh, two main questions you are going to get you may get here now uh, and second one is very important as I discussed in my previous video check whether the following uh, first question in that one I have selected three questions and uh, there is a chance of getting among these three one whether the following are quadratic or not it, it may be asked for two marks the equation is first x plus 1 whole square is equal to see the important questions are first fourth and the seventh these are the three questions I am now solving those three questions and I am explaining you how to check whether they are quadratic or not yes the first one is what x plus 1 whole square is equal to 2 into bracket x minus 3 how to check this one uh, very simple uh, when you go with this one it is a plus b whole square is it so a plus b whole square you know that one a plus b whole square equal to a square plus 2 a b plus b square so when you write this one it is x square plus 2 a means x b means 1 plus 1 square is equal to 2x minus 6 very simple this get multiplied yes now look at this one this is x square plus 2x plus 1 square is 1 is equal to 2x minus 6 yes this is plus 2x see I am teaching you the ticks also now it get cancelled it is same as here how it get cancelled I will show you x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 6 what we will do next x square plus 2x plus 1 you will transfer the terms is it minus 2x it becomes and this it becomes plus 6 am I right so this is what you are doing here so when you bring this one this side this get cancelled is it so the same thing I have done if they are of same sign and we have removed all the brackets and all that one after simplification if we get the like terms with the same sign in that case you can cancel them yes and look at this one what remains now here x square plus 1 minus it becomes plus 6 equal to 0 so it is x square plus 7 equal to 0 yes children it is a quadratic it is a quadratic yes you can write here we because it can be written in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 so you are uh, observing here there are only two terms but for that one we need three terms is it here we are not uh, finding the coefficient of x here so it can be written as x square plus 0 into x plus 7 equal to 0 so in this case you are going to call uh, this equation as a quadratic equation yes this is clear hope you people have understood the second one is uh, something like this one same thing the just i'm explaining you the even the basic if you are not perfect i'm explaining in a slow and simple way is equal to x into bracket x plus 5 how the how to multiply the bracket now look at this one very simple you yesterday that in your lower classes even then uh, i'm teaching once again look at this one x you are multiplying with these two and minus 3 with these two uh, how to do this one x into bracket 2x plus 1 minus 3 into bracket 2x plus 1 is equal to open the bracket this get multiplied with this one and also it get multiplied with this one x into x x square plus x into 5 see here children x5 x5 you are not writing this way you are writing this one as 5x you are writing it as 5x so it becomes what 5x now look at this one now you multiply this and this one open the bracket this is 2x square plus x into 1 is x minus 3 2 is a yes simple 3 2 is a 6 6 because of this minus sign this plus becomes minus 3 1 is a 3 is equal to x square plus 5x yes now here we are not cancelling because it is x square and this is 2x square if you are perfect it becomes 1x square I will not confuse you if you are perfect you can go with that method I am transferring 2x square and uh, writing this as it is minus 3 we will go step by step slowly equals to 0 yes then what happens here uh, we have 2x square and the minus x square 2x square 
minus x square minus x square means it is 1 x square it is only x square yes this becomes what x square and this is x look at this one very interesting what we have or oh, x we have minus 6x six and minus 5x yes so this becomes x minus 11x board most rule i am following always you follow that one x minus 11x x means it is 1x it is minus 10x there is no chance of losing a single or a one fourth marks if you go with board master rule and all that and follow those steps now look at this one now i am getting here minus 10x you will get the same answer minus 3 equals to 0 here yes so once again what we observe here it is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 so because of this one what we have the coefficient of the variable is uh, with power 2 because of this one you are going to say yes it is a quadratic equation practice this way yes the third one i will show you how to practice fast during the exam what we have the third question is x plus 2 whole cube is equal to 2x into bracket x square minus 1 in short how to practice okay so that you can cover all the portion yes now it is in the form of a plus b whole cube it can be written as and okay uh, i'll write the formula it is a cube plus b cube plus 3 now look at this one a plus b whole cube is equal to as I explained a cube plus b cube plus 3 ab into bracket a plus b and a plus b whole cube can be written as a cube plus b cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 ab square this way am i right now our expansion of x plus 2 whole cube i go with this one uh, very simple it is uh, what I am doing it together I am doing both LSS and RHS it is first a cube plus b cube this is our a this is our b yes our a is here it is x yes and b is 2 yes right this way if you get confused a cube plus b cube plus 3 of formula a is x b is 2 3 into it is something like this one into a plus b means x plus 2 this I am using yes is equal to what we have 2x into x square it is 2x cube minus 2x into 1 is minus 2x very simple next open and simplify this one it is x cube plus 2 cube is 8 plus 3 to the 6x into bracket x plus 2 is equal to 2x cube minus 2x am i right now look at this one very simple uh, it is x cube plus 8 plus open the bracket 6x square plus 12x minus 2x cube plus 2x equal to 0 see here i will not continue further because uh, now uh, my question here it is asked that whether it is quadratic or not see what i wanted to know that one whether this x cube get cancelled or not here when you look at this one it is 1 x cube and it is minus 2 x cube 1 x cube remains here so children not necessary of further adding and subtracting the remaining terms so when you observe this one it is x cube that you are remaining with x cube and other terms so it is not a quadratic equation you are going to write it cannot be written in the form of a quadratic equation it is not a quadratic equation you are going to say it, it cannot be represented in the form of a quadratic equation something like that one so you are practicing if you are practicing but if you are doing in a you know classwork and all that one you have to explain in detail and uh, for just for practice just observe and write it it is not a quadratic this way you are solving yes this is a third i have tried uh, three questions of the first question um, exercise first questions that is uh, i have explained you the first for the first one first question fourth and the seventh you practice these sums they are simple then the second one in that you have third one i have selected and this is very very important before also explain in my previous video that why it is important often it is asked the product of two conjugative positive integer is 306 we need to find the integers you have to write here what to write here they are just find the quadratic equation they are told here they are not you they are not ask you to find its value and all that one just form a quadratic equation you are not solving the equation here so conjugative means the numbers which come immediately next to that one for example if you are discussing with conjugative numbers now simple numbers then you are going to say 
वन टू थ्री नेचुरल नंबर सेट ऑफ नंबर द कॉन्जिकेटिव ऑफ थ्री इज फोर द कॉन्जिकेटिव ऑफ टेन इज इलेवन एस कॉन्जिकेटिव ऑफ फिफ्टीन इज सिक्सटीन इफ यू आर आस्क टू जस्ट आई एम डिस्कसिंग सिम कॉन्जिकेटिव इवन नंबर्स इफ इट इज आस्क कॉन्जिकेटिव इवन नंबर्स मीन्स द कॉन्जिकेटिव इवन नंबर ऑफ टू इज फोर नॉट द थ्री यस कॉन्जिकेटिव ऑफ एट इज टेन इवन नंबर इफ इट इज आस्क कॉन्जिकेटिव ऑड नंबर्स इफ यू आर डिस्कसिंग इफ द नंबर यू आर गिवन इज थ्री द कॉन्जिकेटिव इवन ऑड नंबर ऑफ थ्री इज फाइव Yes, immediate next to that one conjugative means immediate next to it is what we are going to call it as conjugative number. Now look at this one. The product of two conjugative positive integer is three not six. We need to find the integers. Integers they told and both are positive numbers. Suppose here uh, our first number is x. Very simple. Then conjugative of x is x plus one. Immediate next to this one. So just I am writing the solution. You see this one. Suppose x is the number. The conjugative number of x is x plus one. Hope you will understand. Let x otherwise write. If you want, let x be the x be the number. Then conjugative of conjugative of x is equal to x plus one. Yes. Uh, then what it told here? The product of two con product means multiplication of these two. Which are the numbers? Our numbers are x. I am x plus one is equal to how much? Three not six. Very simple. And it may be asked for two marks. See, so, then multiply this one. X into x is x square plus x into one is one x is equal to three not six. Or directly you can write here x square plus x minus three not six equals to zero. So this is the formation of a quadratic equation. Here it is asked just to form. This situation in the form of quadratic. Here it is not asked to find the numbers and all that one. If it is asked, then you have to find the factors of this number that you will uh, study in the next chapter. Yes. So this one only ten point one. Only this much you practice. It will help you uh, during the exam. Go through these questions.